What's going on YouTube, Steven is Salon Guy here and in today's video we're going to be talking about specific names for haircuts. So I get so many comments and DMs on Instagram, you know, what's the name of this haircut? What's the name of that haircut? What do I tell the stylist or barber? What name is it? And it's just like, you know, it's interesting because to me, a lot of the times you can't really put a name on a specific haircut. And so many people are hung up on having a quote unquote name for a haircut. You know, like almost like if a haircut was called the cool cut or, you know, the mohawk, you know, there's those classic names like a bob or an angled bob or a layered haircut or a mohawk or, you know, a Caesar haircut. But now today, because there's so many different variations of haircuts, it's hard to really put a name to a haircut. Now, if there are, I don't know about it, you know, that's fine, whatever it is. But in regards to me getting so many questions about names, I always, the best advice is this. Don't focus so much on the name of the haircut, but rather show the barber or the stylist the photo of the haircut you're looking for. Now, I also know and realize that this has been done and I've gotten lots of people saying, I've showed my barber the picture and they can't do it. I've showed my stylist the video, I mean the, the video or the photo and they can't do it. I say, well, you know what? Maybe it's time to try somebody else. Start going on Instagram, start searching in your area, start looking for other barbers or stylists in your area within a certain vicinity and see if they can do the type of work or the type of haircuts you're looking for. Like, if you're getting horrible results from the same person over and over again, or they can't execute what you're looking for, then try somebody new. I mean, if you don't like one restaurant, you don't go there again, you go to somebody else, you go to another restaurant. So try to keep it as simple as possible and more focus on you know, what the haircut looks like and maybe the measurements, but it, it's really, it really comes down to the professional, if they can execute that look or not. So that's what you need to really be focused on is, is the look. So for example, right, you see something like this. Now this particular haircut had a definite kind of weight line, a bit of a ridge in the whole thing. I purposely did that. And I've, I've gotten DMs from people saying, you know, what kind of haircut is something like this? So I may call this, you know, a disconnected textured look, right? So, you know, or a, let's see, a not, not blended textured look, right? And, and that really comes down to a few things. So meaning this is not blended, it's textured on top, right? So if you said to, this, to me, I want a, a haircut that's faded, that's you know, buzzed up, it's not connected, I wanna see a weight line throughout the whole head, and I want some texture on top. I want it fairly short, maybe you know, an inch, inch and a half on top with some texture. Okay, that makes sense to me. Then you show them a photo. So again, it's, it's kind of describing to them more about the haircut than calling it like, you know, the beaver or whatever. Uh, another, another, you know, here's another example, right? We've got, you know, the layers in through here. So what would you call a haircut like this? There's no really, there's not really a name for it other than maybe, you know, a layered haircut, you know, a normal men's layered haircut, you know, or, you know, a feathered layered haircut, a short feathered layered haircut. So it, it's really, if, if you get to understand what I'm saying, it's more about pointing out the actual, technique or the result, you know, layered haircut, you know, a fade, you know, something disconnected. And, you know, so I think you guys need to focus more on that. So here's something that I just did, uh, Jeff Wittek recently, um, which he left a comment on my video, which was so awesome of him. You know, here's something that's very unique. Again, it's hard to say. What would you say? Well, uh, I want this kind of really short and faded right in through here. And then I want it to kind of blend back into it being longer, right? And then I want the top to be, you know, a bit disconnected here because it's a lot longer. You want the top to hang over and you want the top to be, you know, down to your lip, you know, and you want it to be blended in the back. Again, so you're, you're basically describing the technique and the end result rather than saying, I want the Jeff Wittek haircut or the, you know, the super cool, you know, 2045 haircut, you know, whatever it is. So try to do, you know, watch a lot of my videos and, and listen to the verbiage that I'm saying. And again, don't be so hung up on the actual name of the haircut because some of these haircuts, they're new to me. 
there is no name, at least that I know of. So, you know, that's it. So please, I hope this video helped you guys. Again, I get so many questions about this. Let me know in the comments below if this, if this did help you, if you have any questions. Uh, again, I have over 1,400 videos on YouTube. You can search whatever it is you're looking for and then add the salon guy to it, all one word, and most likely you're gonna find what you're looking for if you want a specific type of video. I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the salon guy.